Okay, we can make a MAME using uh, photo P. Here we go. So I'm going to use the wrapper Psi. And I did open image and new tab, and then I did save image as. Put it in my period 2 folder. Here we go. So let's go to photop.com. And we can open that up using file open, just like you would in Photoshop. Navigate to my period 2 folder. There it is. Now I want something square, so I'm going to go into image and go into canvas size. And I'll make the, the height the same as the width. Or sorry, the width the same as the height, 923. And let's anchor it on this side. So we get balancing elements. We got Psi and we got the horsey. There we go. Actually, we still got the other horsies. So cool. Um, almost there. Now we gotta, uh, you know, add some text. So we click on the T and click in there somewhere and just start typing. No. School Monday. That'll be my message. I'm going to make the no super big, so I'm just going to highlight the no and make it, yeah, 150 is as big as it gets. I don't know. Let's take a font to Deja Vu Sands. No, thank you. Let's see what else they got. I want something a little wild. Oh, I just like this one. They got some cool fonts in here. Uh, except the size is not impressing me. Maybe I can type a size. Let's try 288. All right, now we're talking. So you can use the arrow to kind of move things around. Well, let's kind of, you know, put it right between him and the horse. And then I just got to uh, format this text a little better. So let's pick a font size for School Monday. Yeah. I'm not very good with selecting. There we go. And this might do well with 144. Now let's try 108. That works. All right. And there's like a little paragraph tool you can use here. Uh, and we can set the distance between the lines somewhere. I remember you do it in Photoshop. My first time using Photo P. So, character size tracking, leading. It's funny, I just remember where it is in Photoshop. And Photo P is just slightly different. Try, there we go. Leading is it. And we can kind of compact that a bit. All right. Uh, I think now we just need a color that works. And let's go back in and select that. Change the color to use yellow. All right. Let's see how that looks. Not the best, so we might need some text effects to help us out. So click on your layer um, and click on effects down here. In Photoshop, it's FX. Let's try a drop shadow. And 
If you pull it away, you can see a preview of how it looks. And that's pretty good. Okay, not the best name. I mean, I could spend more time perfecting it to make it how I look, but this is going to be good enough for me for today. All right, so now it's time to export this uh, back into our period two folder where we can upload it to uh, Google Sites. So you can make it 100%, you can make it really low. If I make it really low, it's probably going to, you know, oh, that looks awful. Let's go back up to 70. But, you know, it gives you a preview of how it looks. Save. Cool. Now let's go back into our folder, look in period two, and see what? It didn't save there? Hmm, maybe it's in downloads. I'll go to a new downloads folder. Here it is. Oh, I gotta rename it. Gangnam Style Meme. Okay, boom. All right. Thank you. 